All right, I'm on hole number seven. And it's on the last video on the end of it, but I was up here checking out, like seeing what the scores are. I don't like when I'm playing in the weekend round, I never want to look at the top because I never want to change my game based off what's at the top. But when I'm in the qualifying rounds and even in the opening rounds, I like to look just to see like where we're at as far as based off of what the minimum score should be. So minimum score should be 13. And I think by the time it's done, it'll probably take a 13 just to get in. But we got a couple 15s and some 14s at the top right now. In this particular deal, everybody in this bracket, because this odd odd account is a Ricky Masters, everybody in here is a master. So, like, they may not currently be a master, but at 2.9 billion earned, they're a master. They, at some point in their career, they were masters too. Once you get to masters, if you get to masters one, you bounce up to masters one and then you go back down, um, you're still going to be playing expert. So, you're going to be playing in a bracket where everybody's an expert. But once you get your account to Masters 2, you're forever in that account going to be playing against other Masters. And so think about what kind of clubs this person has. So if you're watching the video and going, hey, dude, you got all these killer clubs. Everybody in this bracket's got killer clubs. I'm not playing against people that don't have killer clubs. I'm not Maybe when I'm out on the course playing a hole, I'm playing against somebody who doesn't have killer clubs. But when I'm in my bracket, everybody in my bracket's got killer clubs. So everybody in here's got the ability. And they, you don't get the Masters by playing Tour 7. You get the Masters by playing Tour 9, Tour 10, Tour 11. Um, and so these people have win skills. They, they have the ability to play. And so at 1.8 billion, at some point, this person was a Masters in 6,400 games. This person right here is a current Master. And they're on their way up. So they've bounced up to Masters in their divisional ranking. And they will be playing against Masters from now on every time. So everybody in here has got some awesome stuff. So there's no, uh, there's no newbies in this bracket. So in order to get in, and I would imagine during the weekend, the minus 13 minimum score is going to dominate. It's going to be like into the 80s, maybe even 90. The top, everybody in the bracket shot the minimum score. I mean, the minimum score is not what anybody's shooting for. They're all shooting for trying to pick up shots. So shooting a 30 plus in the weekend round is what it's going to take in order to be anywhere near the top. And if you're in a Ricky Masters bracket, you could shoot a minus 30 and still come in 28th. Just trying to look at where I can be. I've got uh, three holes here and I'm practicing today. But if I finish these holes out, I could end up with a five, and that would give me a minus 12, and I don't even think that'll get in today. So I just, I'm just i trying to gauge whether or not I can play aggressive or if I have to start forfeiting holes. We're on hole number seven. And this par three right here. So I came out here. I finally came out here. we got tournament wins. If I remember correctly, the wind is blowing. If I remember correctly, the wind is blowing in this plane. So it's blowing along this rough, this rough right here. Maybe, I think. I might, re I might be wrong, but I think that's the way it was blowing. So I came out here and I finally got on this hole with a Goliath. And I had the right ball so that my red line was right in here. And I tried the rough bump from right here trying to bring it around. And there still isn't, even though you've got the top spin to get up here, there's still not enough side spin with a three side spin ball to get me around the band. So I either brought a katana or a kingmaker. What happens is, is you're bleeding off like this and the tail is coming back down to the hole. But there's not enough speed up here for it to make the turn and then get back to the cup. You can get close, but there's not enough speed to get you all the way to the hole. And I timed out because I was, I was just trying to set it up to see what the deal was and I couldn't get it worked out and I timed out. So I'm not going to take this shot here. This shot is out for me. And I, and I do believe if you're hitting this shot, you're going to have to do a 50% wind adjustment. It's, it's got to be somewhere close to there. So what I did was just to see if it would work is I did a rough bump from right here and I did a 20% wind adjustment. And it is narrow, narrow. I repeat after me, narrow. <laughs> it's a grim. But the 20% seemed to work from down in this hole. And I will take that shot today just to show it to you. But but I'm really, really 
tending to go back to what I was doing in the last tournament here, where I started off right here with a Guardian and a Quasar, and I was three rings off of this transitional surface. And I put on max side spin, max back spin, max curl, and I just tried to bring it around to the cup. And what was stable there was the curl. I never went off of max curl. So what I was doing was I was adjusting my, my, my spot out here, like moving it around to try and bring it towards the cup where I could take a little bit of backspin off. But I was leaving it at max curl because curl is hard to replicate if you're not doing, if you're doing zero curl or max curl, it's easier to replicate. And so I was, I left my curl at max and I was trying to change other things to get me closer to the hole. And I could get close, but I, but it, it's super low percentage, but I got a birdie on this hole every stinking time I played it. And so I think if you did this rough bump here, you got a serious chance at a hole in one, but it is a dangerous, dangerous spot, but I'll, I'll do it here just to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to do a 20% wind adjustment, 1.2. I have no idea, no idea. I'm going to bring a, a sniper. I think I was a minimum club. I can't remember what I brought. Hey, hey, hey. I'm bring a sniper. And I'll bring a kingmaker just to cut the wind down just a little. If I don't like that shot, or if I can't remember how the wind was going, I'm going to make sure I got a guardian at least one bag. I'm already using that bag, so I'll switch it up to a guardian just so I have it in there. I know if you're using the guardian, you can use quasar. But I'm trying to get farther forward. I think when I was using the quasar and the guardian, I was right there, right there. We'll see. I'm still messing around on these par threes to see what I like and what I don't like. Here we go. Opponent disconnected. Right at my Probably do this with a katana. Right at my red line. <laughs> I'm going right at the cup. Three two times three point two divided by one point five. It's two point five six rings. There's one, two, five, six. Oh, and great to the right. Ooh, and I ended up to the left. And I hit it great to the right. So I either need to do a bigger wind adjustment, and that's what's hard about it down in that hole, is you can't hardly get to your ring set, so it's hard to do a super accurate adjustment. But that is a possibility. It's dangerous as hell, but that is a possibility. Because you can take those shots all week long and go, yeah, this shot's killing it, and have one epic fail on the weekend and ruin your entire your entire week on a par three. And I'm just not I'm just not sure if I'm willing to risk my weekend round doing a super dangerous shot like that on these par threes. I'm not sure. I think the people that are up there that are going to shoot thirty pluses and pop out some massive score like a thirty three or thirty four, they're the ones that are. Are, are taking that risk. And if you hit perfect all the time, I think you can take that risk. You could probably safely take that risk. 
But if you don't hit perfect all the time, it might be it might be too much of a risk. I, I was going to give you guys some bonus content, but thank you. Good luck in the tournament. Never be mad when they uh, somebody gives you some coin. All right, that was hole seven of the Safari Sunrise Tournament and Monday's practice round in the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.